948 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it. We have the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, and we have our goggles on. He's got a bright idea for us, I can tell right now. I do. <laughs> I'm going to pass this bulb to you. Oh, okay. That is the classic incandescent light bulb. Sure. Okay. Those are the things that are being phased out by the compact fluorescent, right. or maybe even the LEDs. Oh, yeah. Okay, because these guys are much more efficient. In right. fact, at the Science Center, we've replaced nearly all of our incandescents with LED lights for and energy savings. it costs savings. more money up front, but it saves money in the long run. It does. Now, what's interesting about these bulbs and why they're so inefficient, I'm going to plug it in here and turn it on. That's a 200-watt light bulb, all right? You turn it on, it's incredibly bright, but it's really hard to imagine that 90% of the energy we put into that is not coming out as light. Wow. It's coming out as heat. Oh. I mean, you've experienced that, right? You put your hands on these things and they get really, really warm. Yeah. If you do that now, you can, you'll get a sense, yeah, that's really warm. Right. And so, one of the interesting things that engineers do with these kinds of bulbs is they put them in this glass envelope filled with an inert gas. Argon, krypton, nitrogen. We're going to find out what happens if we remove that gas. Oh boy. And we're going to do it really crudely. I'm going to pass you a hammer. Oh. You're going to put that bulb on the table. And it's kind of a delicate thing. We want to break <laughs> the glass, not the filament. You trust me so to do a delicate thing. Twist it that way. Okay. Just, just give it a little tap. Perfect. And you broke the filament. <laughs> it happens. That's okay. This is a heavy hammer. It is. <laughs> that's, that's why I have a spare here. Okay, so same deal. I've just removed the envelope that was filled with the inert gas, and we're going to turn it on. So I'll plug you in and see how long it lasts. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Definite heat coming off there. Yeah. And, okay, the filament has oxidized because of the oxygen in the air. All right? Now well, that's what happens if you break a bulb or um, if you do a demonstration like this. Now, yeah. we can actually undo what we just did. Or we can kind of put that light bulb back together. Well, again. not mine. Not yours. No, no, of course. <laughs> of course not. But luckily I have a third here. Now this bulb is the same as before. And what we're going to do is we're going to use liquid nitrogen. One of my favorite things here. And I'm going to fill this flask up with some of the liquid. Now, we don't really care that this stuff is 320 degrees below zero. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's pretty cool. But what we're really counting on is the fact that nitrogen is an inert gas. And the liquid nitrogen is always boiling. So this container has no oxygen in it. So if I were to plug this guy in, and you were to very, very gently okay. stick it down in there, don't hit the filament, mm. it'll mess everything up. Boy, this is like Perfect. the operation game. Yep. Just lower it all the way down. And there's a little stopper here, so you can't go too far. Just oh. put all it right, right on in. And now I'm going to turn it on. The filament is in the liquid nitrogen, and it'll turn on. It will light up. In fact, that filament is probably getting to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Get out. The nitrogen is 320 below zero Fahrenheit, and it's going to keep lighting up. In fact, you can pull it out of the liquid. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Now we're in the gas area. Right. It's going to keep lighting up. This is just like your regular light bulb that's filled with argon, krypton, or nitrogen. Wow, so it's not burning off. Now, if you pull it all the way out slowly, and it's going to keep lighting, there's still no oxygen there, still yeah. no oxygen, still no oxygen, but now if you get it out in the air, it's going to burn there for like one, two, three, four seconds, and then it's going to burn out. Wow. Okay? That so is don't, wild. Don't touch the end there. That's yeah, I won't. Uh, <laughs> that takes a fair amount of experimentation to figure something that out. It does. And so that's just some <laughs> of the cool stuff that, you know, I mean, these are traditional bulbs. We're moving away from those. But there was a lot of engineering that went into making those things last for days, years, yes. years and years. 99% perspiration. Yes. Right. All right. Well, Carl Nelson, he'll be down at the Imagination Station, and you can check out Guitar, the instrument that rocked the world, still running, and it goes through this weekend and, and next as well, May yes. 17. 17. All right. Thanks very much, Carl. That is this week's Imagine It. Time now to turn it over to Dave in sports.